Hey guys, welcome to game two between Striker and Whip. Part of the loser's bracket final it is best of three. So Whip is up one match. Bottom right corner, Striker starting as the blue Zerg. Bottom left corner, we have Whip starting as the gray Zerg. Also, I think I mentioned two games ago, Mole Trap's birthday in October. I do want to also give him a shout out. He's the guy who created all the transitions and stuff for me for Twitch and is pretty savvy with a lot of the media stuff he does at large. So if you're looking for media work, go check him out. So game one, honestly, I thought Striker was just going to barrel over Whip at certain points. And it was funny, I was talking about being potentially during the stream uh, Artosis' waiting room, and I was thinking of being the waiting room for Veer, but Veer's raiding me. What's up, Veer? Everybody check out, uh, that'll be the other, I'm giving the shout out to all the other streamers in the community right now. But Revolution Veer also runs some of the Brood War Clan League uh, matches between like Eric CWT. Uh, thank you for the raid, and I enjoy watching those. He, se he seems to stream right when I'm taking my lunch breaks. And between him and Quix, uh, I just love watching the team games there. Especially because, I don't know, I like Foreigner StarCraft being in BSL. I, I hope that it one day ascends to the same levels as the Korean StarCraft. And I, and I don't mean in the matter where Korean StarCraft gets neglected and comes to the point where it's like BSL level. I mean more like that uh, Foreigner Brood War can be taken seriously and not just viewed as a dead game, etc., etc. All those rants aside, one barracks opener. I'm wondering if Whip's going to try that similar build again. Striker in the meantime going for a 12 hatchery. He does have an Overlord going to the correct spawn location. I don't know if this SCV is going to get... Well, this could be a big factor. Does the SCV see the Overlord? It does not. And does the Overlord... De the Overlord definitely sees the SCV. Now the question is, is, does Whip go for a cross spawn scout or is he just going to bottom right? It looks like he is still going to bottom right though. So only minor advantages. Bit of blockade there overall. Gas being grabbed at... 202, a little bit early. Uh, that's very early. So definitely going to be two hatch mutalisk and striker doing a pretty good job, I assume, with some of the antics you can pull with the minerals to get that gas down pretty rapidly. Spawning pool doing behind it. SV taking a little bit of damage as it's walking through the lines. And whip upon seeing that 12 hatchery, going to go ahead and plop down his command center. My question is, is what will the follow up be? <laughs> going to go ahead and steal. I yeah. Steal some minerals. I wonder if there's some theory about like stealing the minerals from the fastest mining patch. Something along those lines. Drone still trying to get some harassment done. Tick away at some health of that drone. Supply depots being built to the south. No additional marines being built. So whip upon seeing, yeah, getting the scouting information. Going to be able to streamline his economy a bit. Not bothering with any marines or defense. Going to plop down that second barracks immediately. To I assume go for a two racks academy build layer. Now morphing. Do we have finally a pair of Zerglings being morphed for Striker? But yeah, that SCV being a huge benefit there to whip. First Marine now out for him, also tacking on that gas. But yeah, a huge benefit, getting all sorts of scouting information right there. So Zergling going to trail that SCV. The SCV going to try to spin back around. Layer about halfway finished. I think that, I mean, he. I think he knows that this is two hatch at this stage. He mostly wants to hang around and see whether that second gas uh, gets dropped a little bit earlier rather than later. Single Zergling blocking that ramp to go ahead and deny information further. Overlord over the ramp seeing things otherwise. Natural expansion up online for whip and dropping that academy first. So yeah, I think it's going to be a pressure thing. One thing we saw in game one is Striker initially bought uh, went and dropped the Sunken Colony or I should say Creep Colony but cancelled it after the fact. I'm wondering if Whip goes for that quick stim two racks pressure if Striker might get caught off guard by it. Did that SCV survive? No. So SCV died out in the front someplace. Did that Zergling get the kill? No. Where's the other Zergling? Drone making its way to upper right. There is an SCV trailing to potentially engage it. That's... I wonder how that SCV... Did it make it back to home base? Oh, it made it back. Kudos to that SCV for surviving the Great War up to this stage. Single Zergling making its way top right. I think that SCV might have gotten scouted. I gotta give kudos to Whip. He's done a fantastic job of, first of all, getting the scouting information, but secondarily, almost there to create some disruption. Was able to do it last game, and I think that was something that created a big boon. Firebat tacked on, so yeah, this is a front door bust attempt. Medic alongside, Stimpak about halfway finished. Second Medic will join 
shortly. And Striker, did he? Did the Overlord see it? So the Overlord peeling off, the Zordling sees it. Double Creep Colony being dropped. <clears throat> Still potentially a... Yeah, I'm go going to cycle in. So the Spire finishes. The Mutalisks are being built. And now, the big moment is there's going to be time. So Double Sunken Colonies that are not yet finished... Whip might go for it here. There's the stim. Pressing forward. This could be a quick one. Drones now pulling off the line. The Mutalisk's not there. Firebat leading. Able to get some drone kills on top of everything else. Now working on that second sunk colony. And drones getting killed in the midst of this. So even if this doesn't get peeled out, that natural has been abandoned. So nice play by Whip. With the plus two wrecks, and that's how you execute it right there. So loses medic marines, but honestly has done sufficient economic damage that is very much worth it. Peeling in some more units, getting some turrets in place. Upper right hand base starting to saturate. That's also keeping those uh, mutalisks back to allow those turrets to come online. But so nice damage early from whip, tacking on now a third, working on range. Plus one weapons not yet being upgraded. One turret over that edge, and ooh, Striker, I think a little bit flustered, taking some free damage on the corner. Waiting for the rest of his mules to group up. So now Striker needs to get more aggressive with his mules than usual to even up some of that early economic uh, damage. Let's see if he, not yet grabbing that third gas, is actually opting to go ahead and grab minerals with the initial drones. Actually, did he cycle those drones all the way from... It almost felt like he cycled those drones. I'd have to check, go back on the replay and check the minimap. Overlords are misrallied. They're moving midfield. That's also a dangerous scenario. I think one of them might be the uh, mutalisk control group overlord, but the second one, yeah, that potentially puts it in danger town. So Striker, a little bit flustered. I'm feeling like he's flustered here in game two. Let me drop this as the, uh, I lost track of the mutals myself. <clears throat> They're looking for pos positions. It looks like Whip already has sufficient turret defense across the corner. Range is now online, plus one weapons being upgraded. The engineering bay is a little bit exposed, but I don't think it'll be that big an issue. I don't know that Striker's really going to capitalize on it. And Striker currently not building additional... Well, was holding additional Mutalisks. No plus one weapons being upgraded on the Spire. And is he just going to play... Wow. Playing very risky. Dropping the Queen's Nest before he's even grabbed his third gas. So Queen's Nest bef before third's gas. Skipping Hydrill's den as well. Is just relying on Whip to set on his Laurels. But here's the thing. These two Overlords are very exposed. And I'm wondering if that is going to be... I'm wondering if this is going to be the critical factor here. As the Medic Marines are starting to press out, they're moving their way towards the north, maybe going to attack upper right. Third gas being grabbed. That's actually fortunate for Striker, because I don't think the Mutalisks would have been sufficient. Oh, eating some free damage. One Mutalisk getting tanked out free. Two Mutalisks being wiped out for free by Whip. Marching midfield. Another over... Yeah, this Overlord exposed. And I'm wondering if Striker, yeah, putting himself in a bad position with all of these Overlords mid-map. Fortunately for him, Striker doesn't realize how many of these Overlords are stranded. However, a grouping of Medic Marines, kind of a covert attack force attacking midfield. Whip actually microwing out of his mind right now, catching, uh, yeah, now catching those Overlords. So he's got to deal with both the Mutalists and the Overlords overhead. So he's kind of engaged one. So those two Overlords gone. Striker's supply cap now. And this Medic Marine group has managed to get into the natural expansion. There's only a single Sunken Colony to engage, a single Mutalisk as well. I don't know if that's enough to peel through that Sunken Colony. These Mutalisks are now drawn back to the main. It looks like they were able to kill the rest of that attack force. The drones, once again, being pushed out of the natural expansion. So Whip, doing a great job, is way up in supply. Loses another grouping of Medic Marines, but has done immense amounts of damage with everything he's fielded thus far. Lurker Tech, not quite there yet. Long march to the upper right. A single Marine might be able to get up in there. Yeah, single Marine able to get up in there and maybe do a little bit of damage. A single Lurker Egg will save that upper right-hand base. But Whip, not in... I mean, he's got plus one weapons. He's tacking on the additional barracks. Dropped the double starport. 74 supply. He's in a pretty good position. And Striker's Mutalisks have mostly spent their time getting wiped out mid-map trying to defend Overlords. So Lurker Egg trying to morph. That's the single Lurker here. There's no Nidus here as of yet because Hive Tech is finished, but they're just... Yeah. We'll see if Striker gets caught. Egg should hold, but let's see how quickly Striker can get that burrow. Might just want to instantly replace it with a second. Yeah, trying to box in. Oh, nice catch on that edge, but a single Marine able to get through that gap might be able to get some drone kills, where the drones actually might want to turn and fight here. 
Yeah, still blockading. So one drone down. Mutal is actually going to come up here and go ahead and clear that single marine out. But you can just see Whip able to get harassment done. He's just, yeah, he's doing fine. 83 supplies. Science vessels now being built. Irradiate being researched. Second engineering bay being dropped. And he is sailing. Absolutely sailing. Striker on three gas, however. Getting that Nidus Canal up. Defiler Mound, one-third finished. Evolu evolution Chamber being tacked on as well. And Whip doesn't have a huge army to threaten at any location. He's all sorts of lurkers there, and this is just a long base to get to. But Whip can go ahead and grab his third base because Striker really cannot pressure him for quite some time. And as long as he keeps up with that macro, should be able to follow this up with some irradiates and boxing Striker in. At least at his natural expansion, drop some irradiates at the corner. We saw him follow it up with some dropship play in previous matches. Let's see if he pauses Science Vessel production to go for dropships once again. Plus one armor not that far away. I believe plus one weapons just finished. Yeah, plus one weapons online. Medic Marine starting to group out towards the front. Striker 30 supply, well, 25 supply approximately. A little bit rough. 25 plus 9. 34 uh, supply difference there. I'm not sure if I did that math. They say you never do math on stream or when you're casting because your brain's just in a different space or whatever. But uh, I'll pause for now. And people will let me know whether that's right or not. Probably in the comments or in Twitch stream. Either way. Anyway, Science Vessels dropping some irradiates on the front. I think they're, this, the Defile Amount and Consume should be there. So this isn't going to be a killing blow but Whip can just hold this line and get another grouping. Yeah, deny this natural expansion. Keep Striker to three gas. As long as he grabs his third base and keeps reinforcing these locations, keeps the science vessels flowing and the radiates peeling out, should be in a pretty good spot overall. Looks like right now fanning back out to maybe check exterior locations to make sure that additional base hasn't been drawn online. He's a little bit more concerned, yeah, about being pushed out of the natural here. It looks like Striker making that his first priority, dropping some swarms. Marines trying to stim around and walk through, several of them losing their lives. Yeah. I don't know if that was a bait or overly ambitious, so all those Marines getting wiped out. But now Whip making a beeline, just pulling all of his reinforcements up to that location. Maybe he's hoping that that will draw and sending out another strike force. Actually peeling off, so interesting troop movements. So drawing, so moving a large attack force upper right to try to force Striker to maybe overcommit there. We saw some of this antics in the... Uh, in game one. And we'll see if it pays off this time. There's no drop ships though that I see taking the field. It's just gonna be science vessels and double pronged, or he's just setting up to go ahead and go for the, the long-term contain. I think that actually might be the case and I'm just over reading. Yeah, just dropping the irradiates, going for, yeah, trying to minimize the area. A drone has managed to sneak out upper left. And this is way sometimes Zerg get back in the match, but two Marines are on the case to go ahead and hunt up there, maybe do some damage to the Zergling, also trying to patrol near that third. Ultra's Cavern being dropped near that natural expansion. I've... Well, we'll see if that pay... if Striker can make that work or not. Whip, still with a decent supply lead, repositioning troops across the middle of the map. He's got that third well saturated, grabbing another command center to go ahead and make his way up to four, and is really looking for the science vessels out in the field, because I feel like he should have... There they are. So he's got pretty good science vessels account. Does get three of them plagued right there. But yeah, just needs to focus on dropping those irradiates and making sure Striker isn't able to sneak anything out in the field. It looks like the Marine's able to clean things up upper left. <clears throat> so, turns into a longer term macro match for all the, well, not all the Marvels, to move on to the grand final. Will, will Striker be able to get the Ultralisks up off the, I mean, he's got a lot of gas actually. He's actually hurting on resources right now, on minerals. Natural expansion being grabbed, so this is going to be four gas. So he's still got room to make it happen. But right now, whip up to 175 supplies, just surging ahead. And I'm wondering if he just bulks up and keeps good hotkeys here. <clears throat> if he can just basically push Striker in, starve him out. Doing a good job of dropping radiates here in upper left. Let's see if he even goes for... Looks like he is targeting mostly the Defilers and Lurkers. Some Zerglings piling into the three. Ultralisk Carapace being upgraded. Some Zerglings able to kill one Marine. Actually, both those Marines upper left, but a Marine... Oh, no, never mind. This Marine gonna avenge his buddy. 
And Zergling's being cleared out here of the 3 o'clock before Defiler able to drop a Swarm. So Striker getting a little bit sloppy here. And way, way behind in the late game macro. Double the supply for Whip right now. Although a lot of his units getting plagued. <laughs> Radiate's actually being dropped on Scourge. Clearing both these units. Only a single Lurker defense, so I believe a bunch of Irradiates being dropped. Single Zergling's able to go up and just peck at Marines to get kills with that Plague support. But the Science Vessel fleet remains solid. More Science Vessels joining. We do see initial dropships fielding. There's an, another slew of Science Vessels actually moving out. Yeah, you can go ahead and... Here's the thing. Okay, so there is an Ultralist joining the fray to try to move up and evict these Marines and Medics at the 3 o'clock location. However... There's enough Marines that they're just going to be able to peel that back, no problem. Whip at max supply. Now loading up a dropship. He could drop that in the main, and Striker's playing so thin on defense that it might end up paying out. A single Marine able to shoot the gap somehow to get behind that drone line might be able to get a sufficient amount of drone kills. With that distraction happening, it looks like the dropship died to some Scourge there. I'm not sure that that's all that significant, though. Because Whip is, has units to expend, honestly. He's got a huge amount of supply. It looks like he's ran some Medic Marines behind the line, realizing there was no lur just a single Lurker out of position left on the front. So able to shut down that natural expansion. Also pressing the nat natural expansion in the bottom right. And look at this Science Vessel fleet. Bunch of Irradiates being dropped. Plus two weapon, plus two armor. So a few troops not joining the, the grouping. They're finally Dark Swarm being dropped. But Whip can just draw back, drop some Irradiates, and re-engage. Continue to threaten. It looks like the Medic Marines at the 3 o'clock going to be able to rejoin. Striker able to clear out what was in the top left, but you can just see he's really hurting for minerals right here. Whip has that 3 o'clock, or sorry, 9 o'clock base up, but doesn't have it saturated. Some Zerglings running in. Might get, yeah, they get two Marine kills right there, but not much else. Lurkers, or sorry, Lurkers. Mutalists trying to find those weakened science vessels, not able to do so, and all sorts of irradiate. This is where Whip is really sailing here, is just huge science vessel count. And just dropping all sort is done very, very well at dropping irradiates at all corners to tax striker's gas. Has always been on the defense right here, continuing to sit at max supply. Still hasn't finally looks like he's gonna saturate that nine o'clock. Not at his mains mind out. Needs to get those SCVs working. That's what they're there for. Dropship moving. Ooh, okay, empty dropships moving up a right. Zerglings again checking that 3 o'clock. Some more engagement. Some overlords misrallied again. I'm going to get wiped out. And now Whip pushing up and engaging the top right. There's two lurkers left. Again, they don't have the spines damage upgrade. So with level 2 armor, the medic ring's doing pretty well. Now Striker potentially going to end up losing top left. And he can't reinforce on the ground. Because he's having to engage and deal with reinforcements making his way towards the natural expansion. So Zergling's trying to come from the upper right main. It looks like they are going to be able to clear that out. But while Striker's distracted with that, still losing more overlords on his front. And going to end up losing more troops still. Well, looks like he was able to take out some science vessels between point A and point B. But Striker's still going to call GG because he's getting overwhelmed too far behind in the macro count. The upper right hand base it looks like some another grouping of medic marines. Wow, look at that graphic. Caught right at the end. I think that is a drone exploding. That is what a drone looks like, apparently. Mid-explosion. Uh, so this... So able to clear out, starve out Striker. Whip will be advancing to the final to take out Jayun. And we'll see how Jayun does in that matchup. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.